Hey guys, this is Absentis, uh, joined with Cenome. We are bringing you uh, Loser's Bracket Round 1. So this is the third series that Cheese Grater is in. Uh, having beaten Orb, then losing to Natagast, he's now facing Backpack, a Protoss player. Uh, this game is starting on Metalopolis. Cheese Grater is spawning as the Blue Zerg at the 9 o'clock position, and his opponent, the uh, Teal Protoss, at the 12 o'clock. Yeah, just for clarification, this is actually the loser's bracket round two, I think. Yeah, loser's bracket round two. Um, we did just do the winner's bracket round two cheese order games, but the winner's bracket started off with uh, one round, and uh, it was kind of round zero for the uh, loser's bracket. So now, a decently early scout coming out here from Backpack. He put down that pylon and just send it out. And he's going to see nothing too interesting in Cheese Grater's base, but Cheese Grater's going to be really unhappy at these positions. That's right. Short positions by land do not favor Zerg. Uh, these unfortunate are the worst positions that Cheese Grater could, uh, could get. Um, he is sending out his own drone right now, knowing that his opponent's not at the 6 o'clock. He suspects close positions, I imagine. Um, that's really the only reason you'd get a, a scout that early. Um, pretty normal everything else um, we'll have to see if Cheese Grater goes for a fast expansion or nope okay that he just answered me um, in close positions he's going to be going for a speedling build yeah this is, makes a lot of sense just because it's so difficult to hold the natural expansion when uh, you're at these close positions especially against Protoss who you know they can just forgate really really easily and that's really difficult to hold off at um, such close positions yeah she's great at getting that gas deal and we'll also be seeing his opponent hasn't been mining gas uh, nope okay there he goes um, and he'll be putting out a cybernetics core shortly so uh, no two gate pressure since patch 1.1.2. Um, most Protoss can't really put on as much pressure with uh, with a two gate zealot push as they could before. Uh, now Zerg are more scared of kind of forge play, but that won't be happening in this game. Second gateway now going down here here for backpack. Uh, Cheese gooder does have that pull up. He's getting a few lings and his queen. Very very normal play so far from both players. Now backpack is going to deny his opponent trying to expand. Although in close positions, I don't know if you always really want to do that. Uh, it would be to your advantage to have your opponent uh, kind of foolishly expand here. Uh, six lings coming out, uh, four being sent out at the moment. Going to poke in and see if he can do anything. Uh, his gas steel still existing. Um, obviously, backpack can't spare any troops to attack it because he needs to keep that wall intact. Yeah, we do also see a Roach Warren on the way. The Link's going to press up here and maybe get some damage done, but this is a Sentry Ant. That's definitely going to stop them. Uh, Warp Gate Tech on the way and even being Chrono Boosted. Roach play, I definitely like it on these positions. He's still mining gas, so it's not really uh, as risky, I guess, as a 5 Roach Rush. He is getting 5 Roaches, though, and... He will be pushing with them pretty quickly. This is often pretty difficult for uh, Protoss players to hold off if they're going for that 4-gate, which is certainly possible for Backpack at this point. Yeah, we see 3 gates so far. I definitely has the money to make more, but uh, he could just be saving up uh, for when Gateway or Warp Tech research finishes. They can just boost out a whole bunch. Um, now with the additional Roche range, uh, they become very potent, and you really need a mix of, of Stalkers and Sentries to hold it off, and looks like Cheesegrave is going to push out right now with his five roaches and a group of zerglings. Yeah, uh, and we have what the single sentry out. He's getting a twilight council now, but things are not going to go well for him. So he's get, definitely going to need this sentry. The roaches are going to get up though. No force field being put down. Okay, force field behind them, but that's not really the important part. Uh, they're going to be able to devastate these zealots really easily, and then just push into the main and probably win this now a decent force field. Yeah, the sentry goes down though, it didn't have any, any energy. Backpack only has one stalker out right now. Uh, he's going to be forced to pull these probes to kind of block off the uh, that place. There's no zealot there. Um, all those roaches are attacking. Uh, another sentry comes out just in time to put down a force field and can delay his, his death for just a little bit longer. 
yeah, uh, the soccer doing most of the damage here. Uh, he really needs to move that sentry up close. Those, ooh, it looks like they weren't on hold position, the zealots, so now the Zerg is gonna come in and devastate this probe line. Yeah, Backpack, uh, if you look, he's at 800 minerals. Uh, clearly, he's flustered by trying to hold off this attack. Warping and Zealots, but at this point, he's having to use probes to fend things off, and that's just not a position you want to be in. Um, Cheese Grater is just pumping out more roaches and uh, just going to town on this uh, on this probe line. Yeah, if we just take a look at the harvesters, I think it's uh, yeah, 10 to 17 in favor of Cheese Grater. He's definitely going to be enjoying this, and he's just uh, macroing up his Roach and Link Force and taking his expansion as well, and he's going to be fine. Yeah, I think it was pretty clear Backpack was going to go for some kind of three-gate uh, Blink, Stalker Blink play. Uh, still delaying mining, uh, and down to only six harvesters now for Backpack, so really in a bad position. Uh, Cheese Grater's gotten, uh, gotten himself up to seven roaches, and, uh, you know, two more coming out. Um, ooh, this is kind of interesting. Backpack might be thinking of moving out himself. He has his uh, troops kind of at the bottom of the ramp. No, he's bringing them back. Uh, and now Cheese Grater looks like he'll be pushing up. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what Backpack would need to do to get back from this kind of situation. He's only got the two stalkers and the single sentry. To really deal with the roaches, the zealots, of course, not really that good against roaches until they get charged, and even then, it's not really a, a good fight that you want to take. Now, Cheese Grater going to move in here and, yeah, just scooting and shooting those zealots very easily. There's a few things there, but they're not really the main focus. Those roaches just doing a lot of damage to these zealots. Yep, just backing up and taking out those zealots one at a time. Uh, his forces might get whittled down, but uh, oh no, backpack was misclicked and was attacking the statues for a bit. Uh, all he has now are those few stalkers, and uh, Chizgur being able to do quite a bit of damage uh, with his remaining forces, and now getting out 16 zerglings. So once those come out, uh, he'll be able to surround and take out those stalkers uh, without any problems. Yeah, and he does now have this expansion up. He should be ma uh, managing over pretty soon. He does have, yeah, he's uh, barely mining at all at this. But now this link is going to move in and surround one of the stalkers. Maybe, oh, uh, they're probably eventually going to get these kills. <laughs> yeah, those links are nipping at the heels of uh, the there stalkers. Uh, there's only a single stalker and, oh no! That oh. Zealot didn't get back in time. Uh, gets a surround on both the Zealot and the Stalker. Stalker goes down and still manages to get in completely. One force field going down. But again, Pro is having to be pulled out as Lings are in the mineral line. Yeah, this is not good for back. Like, there's absolutely nothing to do to get back at this point. Unless he has a hidden dark shrine somewhere. But there we go. GG coming from back. back. So she's going to go one up.